Hey, what's going on Raider Nation? Welcome to another video for the Black and Silver Way. It is your host Dylan and I actually wanted to get into some new stuff because as you know the offseason has pretty much began. They're starting to work out together. The free agency has ended and now the draft has ended. So now we have to play the waiting game, read all the notes of how everybody's gonna start doing on this off-season program and uh, it's getting interesting guys but before I get into the video today actually I wanted to talk about my projection at the running back position and my projection starters for the wide receivers we have a lot of wide receivers and we have a lot of running backs it's kind of overwhelming on how much we have at those two positions and they're gonna have to make some cuts and I'm pretty much gonna just give you my input of how I feel the uh, lineup is gonna be the starting lineup but before I get into that I actually wanted to address one thing real quick you know, I haven't had any problems with anybody on YouTube, and I haven't had any issues with a lot of I've had a couple of issues, a couple of fans just bash on me, but I usually try and be positive, or I'll just block them. Uh, I've been going around to other YouTube channels, seeing a lot of other people say that uh, I'm selfish, I think I'm very cool, I fell off, all this, that, but it's okay. I don't really worry about it too much. I just go ahead and block you, so... If you want to ever, you know, say anything bad on the channel, I said this last year, you know, I had a lot of haters, a lot of random people, you know, trying to ruin the whole YouTube experience for me. You just got to get blocked. That's all it is. You know, guys, I just got my own place. I just moved back. I've been dealing with a lot of personal stuff. Uh, you know, a lot of crazy shit's been going on in my life. I have a job now full time. I'm going to be starting on Thursday and uh, just been getting this whole place together. It's my first experience getting my own place. And now I have my channel back. I have the channel to worry about as well. It's just been a hobby of mine. I continue to do it for you guys. And it's just, I kind of have fun with it. But there's been two, blo there's been one blogger or a couple, pretty much I'm just going to say their name, the Raider Way that has been bashing me. They came back and started bashing on me. And uh, I could care less, guys. I really don't care about those guys. I know a lot of you guys that are subscribed to me, a couple friends of mine always comment on my stuff or they'll send me links saying, hey, these guys are talking about you again or, hey, what are you going to do? Are you going to say something back? I could care less, guys. I really could care less. You know, I'm just a blogger. I just do what I like to do. I've been doing this for a year and a half now. I plan on continuing to do it. But these guys that are, you know, hating on me, you can't be cool with everybody, guys. I've tried to make peace with them, and I shouldn't even have done that. But I actually went to them and said, hey, I don't hate on you guys. But then again, they make something again about me. So. I just never want to talk about them again, and if you guys, you know, see it, don't even bring it up, guys. I could care less about them. Um, you know, they're down here. I'm up here. You know, I just, I'm walking away from it. But, you know, if they have problems, you know, with me, they could talk to me at the Coliseum, okay? I'm not going to deal with anything over YouTube. Let's just handle it out at the Coliseum. If they have anything to tell me, then let them say it to me. Don't, don't worry about this whole YouTube thing, controversial thing, because honestly, guys, I have so much stuff going on in my life right now, and I'm just so focused on this team. If people don't like me and they want to make videos about me, that's really cute. That's really cute, but I just don't want to talk about that ever again, so let's just forget about the whole YouTube beef and all the other bloggers, I could care less, guys. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get into the first position that I want to talk about today. It's going to be our running back position. Right now on our team, guys, we have six running backs. I'm going to go ahead and name them all to you guys. George Atkinson, he's a rookie, and his dad was actually on the Raiders back in the day, so that's really cool. Latavius Murray, Darren McFadden, Maurice Jones-Drew, Corey Sheets, and Jeremy Stewart. Uh, as you guys know, we picked up Corey Sheets for very cheap from the Canadian Football League. He was in the NFL back in, I think, in 2009, but he hasn't showed a lot, and plus he just got caught up with marijuana about a little less than a month ago. Jeremy Stewart actually had a really good role in special teams last year guys I think he had two plus blocks pump blocks so that's really good uh, we could definitely use as much pump blocks and as best special teams as we can and that's the main thing that I think they kept Jeremy Stewart for because he didn't do much at the running back position last year in my projected starters guys this is what I think we got Maurice Jones Drew with a huge chip on his shoulder and we got Darren McFadden with even a bigger chip on his shoulder and the reason why Darren McFadden has a lot to prove is because he was the face of this organization guys for the last five years six years okay everybody has a Darren McFadden jersey there's a lot of potential in this guy he showed really good stuff in the in the past but 
He hasn't lived up to expectation because his bones are made of glass. He loves to be a Raider. He decided not to leave the team this year. I respect that. You guys know that I'm very iffy on the whole Darren McFadden situation. Staying on our team, I at times I feel like he was collecting a check. But at the same time, guys, you have to look at it as sports. You really have to battle with injuries. But this guy has had the worst luck almost in the NFL. He's at the top three running back spot, they say. Some NFL analysts, and we already know this as fans, that he could be a great explosive running back but injuries have held his career at a hold for the last two seasons and that's a big red flag but we decided to go ahead and give Darren one more chance he decided to take a pretty cheap deal and he's very very hungry to be a starter guys he's supposed to be our starter he was supposed to be the franchise player but then now you bring in Maurice Jones Drew guys he's always wanted to be on the Raiders Raider fan for life and now he's back in his hometown he has a big chip in all shoulder he's had a couple things with injuries the last couple years and he was also a top five running back in the NFL so in my opinion guys this is my projected starter list and this is who I think is going to be cut and let's go ahead and kick it off with the first our official starter for this 2014 season guys is going to be Maurice Jones Drew the reason why I say Maurice Jones Drew is because he has a great story he a uh, very energetic guy very very excited to be a part of this organization I just think he's going to be very hungry over Darren McFadden and if they're the same guys I think that Darren McFadden is going to have to still battle injury I don't think it's going to be over for him he can't just promise us a season again guys and expect it to play all um fucking 16 games you know it's it's ridiculous guys so Maurice Jones Drew is going to start Darren McFadden has the second backup spot if he gets hurt Latavius Murray is going to be right there in the third I think he'll grab the third and for the fourth I'm thinking George Atkinson is going to go ahead and grab that fourth spot we might not even see him on the field at all but he'll be a backup in the background I think he'll of course stay healthy I think that Corey Sheets is going to be cut. Corey Sheets already had a problem being in the NFL before, living in the limelight, and look what happens right when he gets into the limelight a month later. He gets caught up with marijuana. Plus, we just have a good strength. I don't think Corey Sheets is going to beat out Maurice Jones-Drew and Darren McFadden. I think that Corey Sheets will be cut. Um, Jeremy Stewart, they're going to keep Jeremy Stewart for special teams. They already know what they want to do with him because they uh, specifically re-signed Jeremy Stewart knowing that we already have a lot of running backs. That was a very random pickup, but if you think about about it he was good during special teams so they will have Jeremy Stewart on special teams and the last one I, I want to talk about guys is the wide receiver position this one we have in a ridiculous amount of receivers this year and this is a very tough one for me and I'm not saying that all these are right I'm not saying that all the running back positions are right this is just what I think might happen guys I'm just giving you my projection right here so we have one two three four we have almost nearly 10 receivers guys but this is what i'm going to break it down to we got bryce butler drawn kreiner mike davis mike davis is a rookie from this year uh jared green noel grisby and he's actually going to be a rookie this year andre holmes greg jenkins james jones greg little we just picked up greg little from the uh cleveland browns denarius moore seth roberts who is a rookie and we got rod streeter so besides everything the new receivers that we have are three rookies from the draft this year we have Greg Little from the Browns and James Jones from the Packers. In my opinion, James Jones has a great relationship, great relationship with Reggie McKenzie. Reggie McKenzie trusts him a lot, guys, because he was with the organization with the Packers and Reggie. They were together for a long time. They got a really good trust. James Jones is also a San Jose native, a Bay Area native, and he's back, and he's wanting to play for the Raiders his whole life. So just as the same thing as Maurice Jones drew, he's going to be very hungry, and he's already been very proven. We know that Aaron Rodgers was his... His number one target was James Jones, guys. We don't really have a solid quarterback position right now, but if we get the ball in James Jones' hands, he's a very explosive wide receiver, and he could definitely be that starter. In my opinion, he is going to be the starter. So James Jones, he's going to get the number one spot for me. Second one is my favorite receiver we have on the team, drafted by the Oakland Raiders. This was a gold right here, gold mine right here, and I think it's a solid hit. And he has the future to be maybe the next Tim Brown. I know that's a big assumption, guys, but I see the hands, I see the mentality, and he doesn't look like he's going anywhere for a long time. The second spot is a homie Rod Streeter. And the third spot that showed a lot of potential, more potential than over our projected starter a couple years ago, he just came in out of nowhere, was Andre Holmes is going to get that third spot, guys. Andre Holmes had a great game against the Cowboys last year. He had a great great couple catches, like that Kansas City catch at home with the one hand. That was ridiculous. 
Andre Holmes definitely has great hands, and that's what we need in receivers. We need hands, guys. We need those first downs, those guaranteed catches down the field. Andre Holmes can bring that to the table. Number four, I don't even know if he's going to be on the team. I'm pretty sure he'll play out this last year if he doesn't step it up. But the number four spot is going to be Denarius Moore, guys. Denarius Moore has battled a lot of inconsistency, a lot of drops. And honestly, guys, I don't know if he's going to make it on this team. I've already heard that he's been... Uh, you know, low key on the draft block this year. I mean, on the trade block. So I don't know if Denarius Moore is going to be able to step it up, but he is a fast, explosive receiver, guys. And I have all the faith in Denarius Moore, and I hope that he could deliver it because I know I've seen the potential. His rookie year was amazing, but ever since then, guys, it's kind of been like this. Ever since, ever since his rookie year, it's just kind of went down on the on the Richter scale for me. So who knows? This is kind of hard to figure out who's going to get the fifth and the sixth spot, but you know what? We brought in Greg Little for a reason, and he has had some nice potential stuff. He has battled a little bit with hands, but he's very explosive, and uh, he's very determined. He just came out, out from Cleveland, and now he's out here in Oakland, California. He's going to be loving it. I've already seen a couple interviews on him. Greg Little is going to grab this fifth spot, in my opinion, and on the sixth spot, I think that Bryce Butler is going to go ahead and grab that sixth spot because he also showed some potential in the Cowboys preseason game and here and there. But there was a few drops, but it was his rookie year, and he didn't see that many touches. We also didn't have that great of a quarterback position, so I'm hoping this year with Matt Schaub, we could go ahead and get a lot more passes off and a lot more completions to these wide receivers and see how they are with an elite quarterback. And the people that I think are going to be cut is Jerron Kreiner is still on the roster, guys. He hasn't really showed anything last year. They didn't even play him last year. They didn't play him his rookie year. I don't know what's going on with Jerron Kreiner, but he doesn't really have anything on his Instagram that he's even an Oakland Raider. I can't even believe he's still on the roster, but I think that they'll get rid of Jerron Kreiner. I know that Jerron Kreiner has hands, and he has showed a little potential here and there in the preseason of 2012, but who knows? Maybe it's gone. Maybe it's, it's I don't even know what's going on with Jerron Kreiner, but they don't even play him, so I don't know why he's still on the roster. One of the rookies will be cut. I know one or two of the rookies have to be cut. We can't have seven or eight wide receivers, guys. So I don't know. It's kind of hard to say what the rookies are because I don't know what they bring to the table. You never even know. Maybe the rookies are insane. Maybe they'll even get into the starting lineup. So I know that one of them will be cut. Greg Jenkins, we definitely will have Greg Jenkins on the special teams, guys, because Greg Jenkins is going to replace Jacoby Ford. Now that Jacoby Ford is out of the picture, Greg Jenkins will be good on special teams with Taiwan Jones. So that's going to be it for my projection guys i know it's kind of a rough thing it's a rough draft right now but that's all i wanted to talk about make sure to like comment and subscribe and i hope you guys enjoyed the video uh thanks for all the subscribers that you know keep it positive on this channel and uh, if you guys enjoy what i'm doing make sure to always hit that like button and i will see you on the next video later raider nation